<laughs> so, okay, so we're here at Resource Trails, and we're going to learn a little bit about brass, and not just about brine brass, but what you need to look for before you do, and maybe some more resources <laughs> for when you get it. All right, so why don't you take it away? Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and about the business? Perfect. Uh, thanks, Sean. Good to have you uh, here with us here in Sean's Trains. Ignore the antics of the rest of my crew. Uh, they're, uh, it's a great bunch of guys that I work with and I've had on my staff here. I can't, I can't say enough good things about them. I will say that. So uh, we are resourcedrails.com. Uh, we are an online brass uh, centric model train business and uh, it's something we're pretty passionate about despite the fact we might joke around with it it's something that we really enjoy doing uh, brass is a little bit of a scary point for a lot of people in the hobby um, there are plenty of people that simply don't even want to talk about brass model trains uh, and there's a big bit of a stigma associated with them but it's our goal here at resource rails to kind of help overcome that stigma to help kind of create a new aura around brass that's more affordable more accessible and a much higher quality product than any other retailer is giving you. So we set ourselves apart with a higher quality of item that comes out of our shop. Everything is tested, inspected, reviewed, great photographs. You can probably see them over my shoulder here on our TV that we're sharing with you. And it comes with a 100% money back guarantee. Not happy? Send it back for whatever reason. Brass is more affordable now than it ever has been. Uh, the market thanks to all the wonderful plastic manufacturers and die cast manufacturers out there. The market for some of the older brass models has decreased a little bit, but that means they're far more affordable. Um, that's another one of our hallmarks too, fair pricing, both buying and selling. So that's resource rails in a nutshell. We've been doing it for three and a half years now. I started the company in 2020 and uh, I hope I do it for another 20 years. How about that? <laughs> so, but, uh, but we do everything brass. Uh, we also are a dealer for Soundtracks products. Uh, that's one of our accessory components, right? You have a brass model train, very few of them come with DCC, let alone DCC and sound. So we offer the Soundtracks format. Uh, we work with a couple local installers as well who will do the brass installations. Uh, we don't do that in-house, but I'm happy to recommend folks like Jeff Lemke Trains and uh, Turner Junction Models. Uh, they're around here today that you can talk to them as well here at the Chicago Land RPM. Um, but, you know, again, it, it's a resource that we offer through the products, and we're happy to offer advice when it comes to installations as well. Painting? Oh, my gosh, painting brass. Um, <laughs> there's no one right way to do it. How do I say that? Everybody has their own unique way of doing it. Uh, and access to brass in an unpainted form is where it's most cost-effective. Painting it, if you want to do it yourself, not costly, but there's a skill set involved. Hiring out a paint job these days, anywhere from... 150 to a thousand dollars depending on the model that you want to do but we're happy to provide those resources as well so that's kind of my overthoughts on the company as a whole uh what we do here any questions that you have absolutely so i've had bat brass in the past uh, mostly electrics because no one really offers unless you're interested in the, yeah. strictly the east coast no one absolutely. really offers western electrics yeah um other than mth and there's things to be said about the dcc and sound systems in there but if i'm looking for something particular and I find it on your website and I say, hey, I want to buy this model, but I'm, I'm a little leery about it. I want sound and DCC. I want it to be reliable. What are some of the things that you guys can help me do to, you know, maybe get a different drive system, get DCC and sound, um, you know, paint? Because like you said, they can vary widely on, you know, depending on the model, depending on the, uh, the quality of the paintwork. If there's, I'm sure if decals are involved or pinstriping, that's a whole nother realm. Uh, but you guys can really help help me negotiate through that stuff? We can certainly help by providing guidance along the way. Anytime you're looking at a model that's unpainted or you want to upgrade the drive components from, let's say, an older open frame style motor to a more modern can motor, you see a lot of that in older brass models that upgrade. Or maybe you want to put a new gearbox in a steam locomotive. We're happy to provide that guidance along the way. And it's something that we do in our shop. We've put some gearboxes and locomotives that are here because frankly the ones that came with them are no longer viable so we've had to replace them. Um, we stock Northwest Shortline parts and highly recommend Northwest Shortline parts. In the brass model railroad, uh, brass model train industry, Northwest Shortline is what keeps all those old models running and they're a great company out of Montana uh, right now that's offering gears uh, gearboxes, motors, screws. You'd be surprised how many screws we go through. Ridiculous <laughs> metric screws. Uh, but it's what holds all these models together. Uh, as far as paint work goes, I can make a really good recommendation. Do your research. Do your homework. Figure out what paint scheme you want to paint the model in. Get those prototype photos that you're looking for. 
figure out who makes the decals and if nobody makes the decals figure out what company is willing to do them for you switchline graphics the old switchline graphics company used to do a lot of our decals for some of our custom stuff that i've done personally in my collection it's good to see those companies existing today circus city another decal company out there as Absolutely. well that's doing all those things um but again though the access to brass i mean for an unpainted piece of brass right now it's never been more accessible and it's something that if you come to resourcedrails.com our staff is happy to walk you through that process of ownership to at least get you pointed in the right direction for paintwork and gearbox work and such. Now, I know there's a significant difference between, let's say, Overland Limited and Nickel Play products. <laughs> a little bit of one. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. At, least, at least a little bit. Yeah. Um, but one, another thing um, that I've learned through my short experience with brass, with, again, primarily electrics, is that if you buy something that's factory painted, that's usually significantly better than buying something that someone says is custom painted. Would that be accurate? Um, it certainly is a better value. Okay. Uh, there are plenty of factory painted locomotives that have very good paint jobs on them. There are some factory painted models that have less than great paint jobs on them. Um, so it really depends on the value and what you're going to weigh as a priority, whether it's the quality of the paint job, the scheme in which the model is painted in, or if you buy an unpainted model, the learning process and the skill set that you develop as you paint that model. But I would generally agree, we typically sell factory painted models quicker than we do unpainted models on our website, or ones with a very nice custom paint job because they have more mass appeal. Absolutely. So would you recommend as someone who's getting started to buy something painted, maybe with a little bit more to what you would like it to be, hmm. rather than going through the maybe some of the risks, some yeah, of the trouble, if you're less... Uh, because you know, like with the car community, yeah. if you want something that is really nice, um, you know, it can cost a fortune to get all that stuff done, yeah. and it might be a better value to buy it already where you want it to be, even though it might be twice the cost. Yeah, it might be only two thirds of the cost as opposed to getting it all yeah. done. You know, uh, it is a better value always to buy a painted model as long as the paint job meets your specifications and your requirements. Uh, we even have a few models that have DCC and sound in them already. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, the previous owner has done the work. Uh, maybe they've weathered the model a little bit. So if you're an operator, it's a great turnkey possibility right there. Absolutely. Awesome. Is that Jeff Lemke? No, it's not, but I'll introduce you to him. <laughs> let's talk to him. Let's go, All right, let's go talk to Jeff. Absolutely. Great. So Jeff's a great old friend of mine. Uh, Jeff, Jeff and I used to work at BNSF Railway together. Indeed. Uh, and Indeed we, uh, we go way back. Uh, it's been at least, what, probably 15 years since we've known each other. Yeah. Um, Jeff, Jeff runs, I will say, one of the premier, if not the most premier brass uh, repair business and paint touch-up and weathering businesses in the country, and that's Jeff Lempke Trains. So we have a great relationship with Jeff from resourcefails.com, as well as Jeff Lempke Trains. Uh, Jeff's helped us out on, oh gosh, many projects over the years if, nothing else, yeah, if nothing else nothing else those are a bit more challenging repairs than we want to take on but your business is really all repair driven and and really a niche business so yeah uh probably 80 percent of our business is doing repairs on brass models we're definitely exclusively brass models we don't work on plastic or hybrids or any of that stuff um but that's our specialty so uh you know one of the things that we have going for for us i guess is that uh you know, we don't have any conflict of interest with me being, you know, working on uh, uh, my own modeling projects because I'm so busy working on other people's projects. <laughs> and so uh, a lot of the repair work we, we do has to do with uh, drive trains or handling damage or shipping damage. You buy something on eBay and you open up the box and, the, you know, the steps are broken off the caboose. Uh, we're pretty much the guy that's, that's uh, going to put those back together for you. And our motto is uh, we're going to make it better than factory new. So um, uh, I was the research specialist for Overland Models. And uh, 1986, they sent me over to Seoul, South Korea to set up the factory paint shop over there. And uh, prior to that, uh, Ajin didn't have a paint shop. So uh, we set one up for him over there. And my, my trade off uh, with them was uh, you guys teach me how to solder factory quality and I'll teach you how to, how to paint. And so uh, uh, as far as I know, the people that were involved in that, that paint shop to begin with uh, are still in business over there in Seoul. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of models have been painted, uh, you know, thanks to my help 
with them, uh, but also uh, a lot of models have been repaired here in the United States because of their help to me to teach me how to do it the right way. And so, uh, you know, kind of in closing, the one thing I would mention is that uh, a lot of brass models that were made, especially in Korea, may or may not have the best solder joints on them after so many years sitting in the box or from handling and use on the, the uh, model railroad because of the vibrations that are involved. And sometimes those solder joints fail. It's just one of those deals. But, uh, you know, the thing to keep in mind is if you, if you need help with that, it doesn't have to be a big repair. But if you botch an easy repair, you're making the repair bill three, four, five times what it should have been. So if something falls off your model and you, and you need help with a, or a part being soldered back on, and when I'm done with it, uh, looking better than factory new, I'm the guy. Give me a call. I'm happy to help. Yeah, we were talking about drive shafts and drive uh, gearboxes and gears and all that yeah. stuff too, and that's all work that you do as well. Yeah, so gearboxes, remotoring, requartering, yeah. uh, that sort of thing. I'm not a DCC specialist. Typically, what I do is I'll partner with somebody who is. If, if people need lighting, electronic circuits, sound, speakers, and let them do that part of the work. The beauty of that is it lets me continue to specialize in what I do so that I can keep my engine of uh, projects moving through the shop so they're not sitting there forever. And, uh, you know, typically I've got 100 projects going at any one time, and I just filter through those. I get four or five models out, and four or five more models come back in. So it's kind of a conveyor belt to work. Um, I'm always happy to talk to people on the phone. Um, you know, probably the best thing anybody can do is if you think you have a, a situation where a model needs to be repaired, give me a call. I can just with a couple of pictures or via email, I can tell you whether or not it's worthwhile to pursue it, approximately how much it might cost to get it done. And then you can, you know, kind of judge for yourself whether or not that's something you want to do. So that's what we do. Awesome. So if yeah. I'm going to go out and buy something, I can message you or I can uh, email you and you'll give me the information as to whether that's a good or bad buy, right. stuff like that. Yeah, so, you, yeah you bet. Um, you know, people call me, email me, text me. If I, don't, if I don't reply that day, I'll reply the next morning. Communication is very important. I think customer always needs to know what's happening. Uh, can you help me or, or not? Because they want to get it done too. And if, if I'm not a resource for them, I always try to... Uh, throw it over the fence to another craftsman or another artist that I know is going to provide similar level of service that I'm providing. So, okay. yeah. Awesome. It's kind of what we do. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. You're I very really welcome. Appreciate all the information yep, yep. And yep. All yeah. the help. Thank you, yeah. Sean. It's been yeah. a pleasure. And yeah. so if anyone's got any questions, check out Resource Rails or Jeff Lemke Trains. <laughs> there you go. And if I recall correctly, you have a pretty active Facebook page where you talk about some of the issues oh, yeah. that you see, oh, yeah. some awesome models that come up. And you guys yeah. do an excellent job, too. Thank especially you. Yeah. You, guys have, you guys just had a big sale not that we long ago. We did, yeah. yeah. We had one in our, 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 our Midnight Madness event here a couple of weeks ago. Oh, so, man. absolutely. Madness. Yeah, yeah get to madness. Our, our, our next sale, I'm not going to tell you when it is, but we're going to call it the Brass Bonanza. So keep an eye on oh, for yeah. the Brass Bonanza sale soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'll just uh, dovetail on the end of that um yeah as far as uh, updates for uh you know what we do and how we do it uh we have a website jefflemketrains.com but if you want to find us on yeah. facebook it's Jeff Lemke Trains, all one word you know on faith facebook Jeff Lemke Trains. that's what you want to look up and uh so what we do is as we finish these projects or actually as we're working on the projects We'll take photos in progress of all the work that we're doing and put that out on Facebook free of charge so that people can not only see the quality of the work that we do, but also get some ideas on, hmm, how can I improve my own process yeah. so that I can learn how to do some of these things, you know? I'm 64, but doing this stuff since I was a kid, and uh, you know, there's a lot that's going to disappear when I'm not on, when I'm not in this roundhouse anymore, and I moved down <laughs> to the roundhouse in the sky. So what I'm trying to do now is kind of share yeah. some of that knowledge to help cultivate this whole idea of, you know, what you guys can do it too. It doesn't have to be just me. So I'm trying to share that information as best I can, and that's on Jeff Lemke Trains on Facebook. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys both again. Thanks, you guys yep. have been wonderful. Right. And hopefully yeah. people will check you guys out Perfect. at resourcefails.com, jeffmptrains.com yep. if you've got questions. Yep. And maybe some uh, some Bonanza <laughs> shopping to do. Soon. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks okay. Thanks, Sean. Bye-bye yep. now. <laughs>